Welcome back. We are here with year 1301 for our Ultimate Decades Challenge, and the family tree has not changed at all. <laughs> it has not changed at all, although uh, Alice and Milo are pregnant, so hopefully that works out, but uh, we'll have to see. if Again, if the child does not live, um, I'm not going to put it on the tree. That's just going to be too much on the tree, so... That is what's going on there. Nothing has changed here. But we know that we are going to spend some time with Hugo Jr. here in this part. So, oops, that is, okay, that's my spreadsheet. Okay, here's the year we're on, 1301, and we are going to play Hugo's side story. There is literally nothing going on in this year, except we are going to find out about little Hugo and his life and uh, his story in this one before his birthday and his potential death. So I wanted to get that out of the way before he maybe dies. So uh, that's what we'll be spending part of this year doing. We, you know, hopefully, I think I'll be able to finish it before the baby comes, but if not, we'll have to hop back to our household really quick to see the baby. And uh, hopefully it lives. But in the meantime, we are going to uh, see Hugo and see what his life has in store for his potential marriage and potential 10 baby tries. <laughs> so let's hop into the game. Okay, now we're in game and we are here with Hugo and his parents, also Hugo and Estrid. So they are going to come and talk to their son and kind of tell him you know, it's time for you to find a wife, you really need to get that going, and, you know, it's your duty, and you need to start having babies and all that stuff. So that is the important conversation that they're having, and they kind of tell him, you know, your mother is close with another, you know, wealthy family, and that we, you know, can probably arrange something with one of their children. So here we are, and here everyone's outside, of course, it's the Sims. <laughs> so uh, let's start talking to the father. The fathers are going to start talking, oh, hey, Sebastian, oh, hey, Hugo. Um, <laughs> and there's the mother, so the mothers are going to chat with each other as well, um, because they're good friends, pretend like I already set that up that they're good friends and didn't just make it up. Um, <laughs> So uh, they're going to talk, and then there's two sons in this family whose names I don't even remember. It's not important. And then there's a daughter uh, whose name is Mabel, and she – dude, go away, Mr. Grocery Man. Um, yes, there is a daughter. So they are chit-chatting and talking about – you know, making an arrangement between their children and their families because they both are wealthy families in the countryside. And, you know, it's not easy to come by those kind of families. So Hugo is going to introduce himself to Mabel as well and introduce himself to her father. And it's important that he um, has a good relationship with her father before they make any kind of arrangement. But there she is. Their color is obviously yellow here in this family. And so they're just going to become closer so that when we ask for an arranged marriage, that he'll approve. Um, I don't know how to make the two parents arrange a marriage for their children. I only know how to do it, like, for the sim that's asking. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So um, we're going to have him talk to Mabel here. Here she is. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my dog. I think he might not be feeling well. I think he might throw up soon. But um, anyway, poor thing. Um, okay, so they are here. He's talking to Mabel. He's trying to like get to know her a little bit, trying to figure out what her deal is. Yes, the mothers are best friends. Um, and he is trying to you know decide if he likes her or not. Also, I realize that when I dress these Sims, because the dresses are so long, I haven't really cared about their shoes very much. <laughs> but uh, some of them are wearing weird shoes because I didn't change the whatever shoes they were generated with. So just ignore that. Um, I thought the dresses would cover them, but uh, sometimes they don't. Anyway, he is here uh, going to come to the church now that the arrangement is in place. They He is betrothed to Mabel now. And... He is going to come talk to his sister and maybe, you know, pray to the watcher and ask if this is the right decision. Um, he's he's not really sure because he doesn't feel anything towards Mabel. Um, but he knows that this was, you know, what his family wants. It's good for his family and he's a good boy. 
So he's not really sure what he wants to do about it. So he's just talking to his sister and, you know, getting some family advice from her. That's kind of, she's just like the family helper. <laughs> she comes around in times of trouble. Uh, oh, and there's mom. Hey, mom. Um, and mom needs to leave because I don't want you here for this because, hey, so, <laughs> um, you know, someone has come here to also pray today and her name is Genevieve and um, Christiana knows her well. I don't know why they just glitched. Um, Christiana knows her well and she, you know, introduces them. Hugo, this is Genevieve and, you know, she's got a nice dress on. She's looking like a proper lady. And so uh, Hugo is chatting with her and Christiana just kind of like slides out of the conversation. <laughs> Um, but yes, so they're just talking and they're getting along really well. And, you know, Hugo's thinking to himself, see, this is what it should be like. I should like meet a woman and it should just click. Like we should just get along. Not like this awkward stilted conversation I was having with Maple. And so, uh, we're chatting with Genevieve and, um, they are just really getting along and he is telling her about his problems and she's kind of like, oh, bummer, you're already engaged. Um, and so they're talking. I don't know why she's sad. Let me fix that. Hold, please. Um, oh, I do know why she's sad. Anyway, that's unimportant for right now. But um, so, yes, they are just kind of chatting and getting along really well and becoming friends very easily. And that is what's going on there. But, of course, they both know that, uh, you know, he's engaged. So there's that. So no uh, things untoward are going to happen at this moment. And I, I'm so sick of getting that stupid notification about Hanford on Bagley. It's like every single time I'm friendly to another sim, it's like, hey, you're friendly. You should help out the people. <laughs> no, I don't want to complete errands. Um, okay, so we're going to head home now. And he's just kind of reeling because he's like, maybe I don't want to marry Mabel because we just don't, you know, fit together in the right way. She seemed kind of uninterested, Mabel. Um, so he's going to talk to his mom and he's just going to kind of say like, oh, you know, I've been thinking about this arrangement and I don't really know um, what to do. And his mom is, of course, over the moon. Oh, I'm so happy I always knew our families would come together, blah, blah, blah. And so they're just talking, and uh, he kind of brings up that he met Genevieve, and he's like, well, you know, there are other noble ladies out there. And then his mom's like, oh, her? No, 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 because she is actually the illegitimate child of the, like, lord from the next, I guess, fief over. I don't know if that's a correct terminology, but uh, she is his illegitimate child, and um, everybody knows it. But um, she comes to our church and stuff because she doesn't get as much like gossip and stares and stuff when she's out there. So um, his mother's like, no, you, you know, you can't be fooled by a lady in a pretty dress because she's an illegitimate child and, you know, would never be married to someone like you. So um, he's just kind of bumming like, oh, man, well, even if I did break up with Mabel, it's not like I could get with her. Um, and keep in mind, in these time periods, relationships happen very, very quickly, which is good because they happen quickly in The Sims anyway. So um, anyway, so he is going to go to um, the tavern and I think it's some kind of holiday, isn't it? It's like night on the town. So he's going to go out and have a drink and just like hang out, um, have some fun. Looks like the priest is there, too. <laughs> Uh, so he's going to come, oh my gosh, and look who showed up. I didn't even tell her to show up, I swear. Uh, Genevieve has showed up to ask if he wants to be best friends. So let's say yes, because I don't want to hurt their relationship. But um, so he's talking to her and he's like, oh my gosh, so funny seeing you here, blah, blah, blah. And she, you know, he kind of, okay, I don't know who made this default Agatha, but look at her boobs. I'm, I'm sorry. Who did this? I think it's from the default, um, people, Henford on Bagley. People. Anyway, doesn't matter. I didn't do that. Just saying. Um, anyway, so they're here at the bar and they're just chatting and, um, he's kind of, you know, a little more reserved now that he knows that she's not an option. But then this knight comes up to them. His name is Dante. And, um, he's like starting to pick a fight with Hugo just ignore me setting up the story because I for, didn't do it in advance. But he's arguing with Hugo and he's like, 
you know, you can't have my woman and blah, blah, blah. Like she belongs to me and, you know, we're having a baby together. And Hugo's like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? So it turns out that Mabel was so disinterested because she's already in love with Dante and they're pregnant. Um, and so then Sebastian just shows up. I didn't even tell him to, but he's here. So we're going to like have a conversation with this guy and be like, Sebastian, what the heck? And he, like, didn't know that this was happening. And so Dante's like, hey, like, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> and Hugo's like, you better marry her quickly because she's pregnant and everybody's going to find out that she had premarital sex. And so, um, and obviously Hugo's like, well, that's out for me because I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, marry someone who's, one, in love with someone else and two, having their baby. So um, Hugo comes home to tell his parents what he has found out. So he tells his parents, um, you know, turns out Mabel is not an option because she is with this knight, Dante, because so her family is like a family of knights. Her father and her brothers are all knights. So um, they, it, it follows that she would meet other knights. So that is how she met Dante. And um, I couldn't figure out how to cancel this engagement. I'm stupid. It was actually, he has to talk to his father. But anyway, he's going to talk to Mabel and be like, look, are you in love with Dante? Like, you can just be with him. What's the problem? <laughs> um, and she's like, oh, my mother was saying how much she wanted, you know, me and you to marry and blah, blah, blah. And now that your sister has gone rogue, one of my brothers can't marry her. So, um, you know, that's that. So it has to be us if we want our families to come together. And my mom's been putting a lot of pressure on me and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, but if you love Dante, you should be with Dante. And you also you're pregnant and no one else is going to marry you. So <laughs> that's what happens here. Yeah, he asks her about Dante and she says she's so in love. So of course, like, come on. So um, we are going to break off that engagement. And then... Uh, cue me googling how to break off the engagement um, and then we're going to go back to church just for like regular mass or whatever and um, we're going to see not only Genevieve but another man here and so this man comes over and he introduces himself as um, Genevieve's father so he is Lord Harlow and he is from like a neighboring area and he basically says my daughter has told me about you I heard that your engagement fell through um and you know of course Estrid is like oh no 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 bastard children are marrying my children and he says well the reason that she was illegitimate is because I ha was married obviously and my wife was like very outspoken against her kind of a little, little Cinderella story a little bit and so he tells he tells Hugo that you know, my wife has since passed, unfortunately, fortunately. So what I'm going to do is legitimize Genevieve into the family and make her my, you know, on my family registry or however that works. And so he says, if I do this, then you can marry her. And, you know, it won't be a slight on either of your families or whatever. So um, his parents are okay with that. They just don't want you know, I mean, obviously people will still gossip, but I think that maybe his parents see that he is really into her. And so they are just kind of like, well, if, you know, if she's actually a proper lady, then it's okay, I guess. <laughs> so also the arrangement that they had fell through and they didn't have a backup right away. I mean, I'm sure a lot of women would love to marry him, but you know, the daughter of a neighboring lord is actually much better than just a regular, um, you know, sim, rich sim. So they are okay with that, and we are going to get the flirty up. I don't know why it still says he's in a conversation with his father. His father isn't even here. Um, but we have broken off the other engagement. Look at how handsome he is. He is such a suave guy. Um, I love him. He's so handsome. So we are going to get together with her. And they're going to be so excited. They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, like we can get married. You know, they really like each other. And, um, you know, it's coming together pretty nicely. And uh, she does reject his proposal. Um, but <laughs> we'll fix that. I'll try it again. Um, and Christiana's like, yay. Christiana's like the, the hype man <laughs> for everybody. Um, but, yes, so he is basically 
um, going to get married to her. We'll say the wedding happens off camera because still I can't get teens married for some reason. I'm really not sure what is happening there, but oh well. Um, so yes, we are going to say that their wedding is going to happen like tomorrow or something, but they are engaged and um, they have 10 pregnancy tries that they get. So we will rename her to Bennett. Also, I'm going to change her outfit colors to purple and that'll be all set there. So they are now all set. Um, and then I'm just going to add her to the family tree. And I'm going to add her like extra names. Um, I did want to keep her regular name in there, but yes, they get 10 tries and we'll make her pregnant. Yeah. So they are in good shape. Yay, Hugo. So we are going to come back to our main household now that we have handled his story. Also, I was worried that the baby was going to be born without us. And uh, so we came here. So we are back home with Milo and Alice. And Alice is very sad that she can't go to her brother's wedding. Obviously, she's been disowned and she's not only rich people are invited. So that's not going to happen. But anyway, so we are in pretty good shape over here. They're doing okay. Go away, grocery man. <laughs> I feel like this is the story of my life, telling the grocery guy to go away. Um, okay, so do laundry and eat something. She is pregnant. I think she is in her just entering her third trimester, so we have another sim day, which is okay, because the year doesn't end until tomorrow. So that is good. Yeah, I think Sunday. Right. Because we went Sunday to Wednesday to Sunday. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So the keeping track of the days is going to be hard for me. <laughs> you are all set. Good boy. And uh, no, we're not going to prom. Um, I was thinking if we did do a prom thing, it might be for like teenagers who are unmarried and like maybe some kind of like church matchmaking event that we could go to. But um, that's down the line. Honestly, we don't have a ton going on right now because we have our Sims. Uh, there's only two of them. There's about to be three, though. But you know what I mean? Like, one day when we're playing this, there's going to be, like, birthdays all day, every day. <laughs> so, also, I realized, I'll realize shortly uh, in this video, is that I forgot to turn aging back on when I was doing all the setup because I wanted them to be a certain age when I started on the Sunday. And I'm an idiot, so I have to increase everyone's age by seven days <laughs> because I forgot to do that. So, I'll, I'll do that off, mostly off screen. So, just so you know, <laughs> that's a problem. So moving on. Oh, I also uh, moved Maybell in with Dante and got them engaged. Actually, I don't know if I changed her last name. I should um, remember to do that. Change Mabel's last name. Okay. Yeah, I think I didn't remember to do that. So um, I did move her in with him, though, and, you know, so that they can be pregnant and whatever. So um, anyway, mom is showing up a lot here at our household and I think probably she's showing up a lot because Alice is pregnant and I think that she is worried about her daughter and she's like oh my gosh you're pregnant and you know there's no going back now so you better you know get ready and so I think that her mom is much much more supportive than her dad about this whole arrangement as peasants um, so yes and we are, oh, they're always so tired. Like they always get so, he's terrified. He like can't do anything because he's scared of the dark. I, I, <laughs> I hate the fear system. He can't do anything because he's afraid of the dark. Um, okay, so we need a bassinet and I, we can't use the regular one. So I'm going to pick this uh, Realm of Magic one. We'll, we'll say that her mom came and brought it to her, except we are paying for it, which means we can't afford our bills. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> we can't afford our bills. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, this is already hard for me, and there's only two sims. <laughs> what am I going to do when there? Look, she just peed herself. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, anyway, the laundry is starting to stink, too. Come on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, we're fine. Everything's fine. He's embarrassed. I just need you to... to actually, the plants all look good. Let's harvest, um, and then uh, let's take care of our chickens. We have two... Actually, good luck so far. A fox hasn't come. Um, but, yes, we're getting eggs from our chickens. 
and we are going to just try and make some money because we only got 49 simoleons but um come on eat your gruel uh, although it'll be nice when we have four sims because then we can just cook a family size meal instead of wasting food so there's that okay well uh, you know we just got in trouble for not having it, it doesn't even matter you can turn off our power if you want we're not using power anyway um she's gone into labor <laughs> She's gone into labor. I'm trying to sell stuff to get uh, money for the bills, but none of this stuff is worth very much money, and so we're going to have to really grind in the next one to get our bills paid. Like, that's taxes or whatever to the king. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We have our baby. So let's go to names, and we'll, I guess we'll just name her Matilda. That's fine. I'm trying not to get attached in case she rolls a death roll. So Matilda with one M, uh, Ashdown. And, okay, you're going to pee yourself again. That's just great. Everything's great. Okay, so um, Matilda has been born a daughter. It's our daughter. So this is very exciting. Oh, she's crying. I know, you need to pee yourself first. Okay, so timeline. Um, and, okay, she now peed herself. And we need to roll for little Matilda. Matilda, Ash, down. And we need to roll for her. And she can't get a 1, 5, something, 10, 15, I don't know. So let's roll. If this ever loads. Okay, now you're going to go take The baby is still crying. I need you to not autonomously go to the bath and instead take care of the baby. <laughs> they don't want to do what I tell them to do. Maybe I should turn autonomy off. Is autonomy off? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that. Anyway um autonomy off okay let's roll for the baby 19 okay i think 19 is a good roll so matilda lives she lives okay this is good so this is where we're going to wrap up and in the next one we will continue on with little baby matilda maybe we'll get pregnant again if we can um and i uh, will try to control these sims so <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one